Welcome friends, it's Ray. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm featuring six cards I made using the Photo Plays Basket of Bunnies pattern paper. And this one is, this sheet is called Elements and is designed to give you enough elements on the one sheet to make six cards. I'm going to cut out these images using my scan and cut and am using a pencil to trace around the edges of the eggs because there is no defined line so the scan and cut will have a hard time picking up where to cut. And once I've cut I will go back or once I cut them out, I'll go back and erase that. So I, I'm actually penciling very lightly. This bottom portion of the paper, I'm going to use my paper trimmer to cut these out because they're mainly straight lines. So uh, it's going, going to be easier to do these with the trimmer. I am not going to cut those circles out. I'm not going to use those that say good egg. I am making one A2 card and five slimline cards today. I'm going to take my Spring Buds paper and uh, cut that down to eight, uh, eight and a quarter. No, I should say three and a half by eight and a quarter, and then cut those pieces in half on an angle. And so I will get two cards per sheet. And here I'm taking my Easter wishes and rounding the corners using my uh, envelope punch. And then I'm going to just trim out with my scissors, trim out uh, the fish tail. My first card is an A2 card. I am wrapping some ribbon, a uh, quarter inch ribbon around my banner and using my tweezers to hold that and I'm going to tie it into a knot. Next I use some liquid adhesive to attach that banner to my card front and next I will use adhesive to attach my bunny in the balloon, hot air balloon, to my front. I've used a, just a piece of tape to hold my ribbon down in place. Once that's affixed, I will use my scissors to trim my ribbon down and trim it on an angle. I've added double-sided tape to the back of this panel and pulled the release tape on half of it on each side uh, and then placed that on my 120 pound card base, uh, but did not press it or fix it together until I had it lined up. Then I pulled the release tape and added some Nouveau Purple Raindrops to finish off this card. Here I am using an eraser to erase the pencil marks that I placed in order to uh, scan and cut my images. I've trimmed down some vellum with swirls um, and have affixed that to the top of my card base. And I've turned my spring buds over to and used the green plaid side just for one of them. I'm using the pink and florals uh, for the others. So I'm affixing, attaching, I should say, my. Um, my vellum to my card base and am going to and I applied a quarter inch double sided tape and then I'm going to place some Gina K glittering green foil on top of that double sided tape after I've released it and um, then turn that over and uh, bring my handles in uh, so that I have a seamless uh, front. And so I'm actually just making sure that um, 
each panel is done in the same way. I do have a video on how I did this. Uh, I will be sure to link that in the description bar below and at the end of the, the video. I find that it's really best to use my bone folder to burnish that double-sided tape before I remove the, the release paper. And then once I place my foil on top, I burnish again to make sure uh, to get a really good uh, coverage there. And then if uh, there are areas that need more coverage, I just... Uh, uh, place the foil on top again, burnish, and lift. I use liquid adhesive to attach my nest to my birds. I've used uh, the 12 by 12 elements sheet for all of my images and my sentiments, and then a second um, 12 by 12 pattern paper from this same collection uh, for my card bases. I've also cut out five rectangles in white 65 pound card stock uh, and then use the rest of my second sheet of 12 by 12 pattern paper to cut out a mat in pattern paper, a mat that I'll use for each focal image. These cards came together super quickly, very easy, and for just pennies. Here I'm running out of pattern paper, so I have two leftover rectangles that I'm going to piece together uh, to make this focal panel and I'm using my first focal panel to make sure I've got it um, about the same height. I go through each of my five focal panels and put those together and we'll trim off any excess around the edges and just affix those to the pattern paper matting. I use my ad adhesive eraser to get off unwanted adhesive and mat this panel. Next, I go through and finish putting all of my panels together and I'm using some flowers that, um, that were on the elements page at the top in the corners and applying double-sided tape to the back and some liquid adhesive on the flowers and mounting that to my card base. Important note when, when uh, applying the double-sided tape to the back, I only applied it in areas that actually had the cardstock on the front so that you would not see that um, through the vellum. I'm going to do the same for the remaining four panels. And um, on the second panel, I decide or realize I don't really need the flowers up at the top. So uh, for the first one where I affix the flowers, I'm going to go back and add uh, at, later off camera, add um, a flower, a matching flower to match the pink flower. I'm gonna add that to the right, take that one off and add it to the top right for just that first one. And I don't put flowers on any of the others. Now let's take a closer look at the six cards I made in today's video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for joining me today, and until next time, good day, friends.